हेलो लर्नर्स आई आनंद वर्धन अ सीनियर फैकल्टी एट स्कूल ऑफ हेरिटेज रिसर्च एंड मैनेजमेंट न्यू दिल्ली वेलकम यू इन दिस लेक्चर ऑन म्यूजियम्स देयर कल्चरल रोल्स एंड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज इन द लास्ट लेक्चर आई डिस्कस द ऑरिजिन इन हिस्ट्री ऑफ म्यूजियम्स एंड देयर डिफरेंट कैटेगरीज इन दिस डिस्कोर्स we will try to understand how museums play vital role in conserving and promoting our culture in fact museums have many roles to play in modern times they utilize the national resources and they exhibit for public benefit preservation educating public and entertainment are some of the functions that a museum performs Firstly we will try to understand the socio cultural role of museums friends museums are meant to shoulder the cultural responsibility of a nation the function as custodians of natural cultural scientific and technological heritages of people the material remains of the development of the earth and of human society arts and crafts of a country etc are housed in museums in india the archaeological survey of india and the state departments of archaeology have responsibility for excavation and preservation of historical sites in rural as well as urban areas the anthropological survey of india collects and provides information about the aboriginals and send aboriginal people of india thereby contributing to the cultural enrichment of the country in fact such museums focus on the role of local communities in the cultural development of the nation museums also testify to the composite cultural ethos of our country their collections include artifacts from various periods and regions and make them part of our common cultural heritage apart from this museum organize exhibitions on themes of socio religious significance for example salar jang museum hyderabad holds various exhibitions on themes like lord krishna in indian art christianity in and art and islamic contribution to indian art such activities make people aware of cultural heritages of their their own country this encourages people to visit museums the reason of a museum's existence is the public they exist for the benefit of the society they are also medium for expression of new or at least newly discovered democratic values new museums take upon themselves the responsibility of democratizing their collection their role includes providing the public a wide range of aesthetic cultural and emotional experiences as american association of museum has formulated the idea the ethical duty of museums is to transfer to our successors when possible in enhanced form the material record of human culture and the natural world museums are known today for their educational role museums play an educative role through their collection conservation methods and by interpretation of objects of historical and cultural interest the impart education and promote learning by exhibiting their collections ranging from mundane to exotic they attract and entertain people and arouse their curiosity this stimulates the imagination of the visitors and induces them to ask questions thereby promoting learning 
the educational role of museums are enormous particularly with regard to the children. The museums are ideal places to impart education to people of all age groups, interests, capabilities and backgrounds. Museums are often situated in attractive and spacious buildings. The objects are normally arranged systematically and attractively. Everyone free to look at the displayed articles, freely observe them without any interference and they try to understand it, release it. They also feel delighted. Visitors gain knowledge about innumerable things, seeing different objects in their actual form is really very interesting. This kind of exhibition is always entertaining and enlightening. Frank Oppenheimer opens that the whole point of education is to transmit culture and museums can play an increasingly important role in this process. It is a mistake to think that preserving culture is distinct from transmitting it through education. Also recognizes the contribution of the museums in educating the public by increasing the awareness of cultural heritage, by transmitting the essence of evolving culture to new generations and by raising the awareness of others. Basically. Museums play important role in cultivating awareness, disseminating knowledge and bringing a desirable change in our society. In our country, many museums apart from educating the public and displaying their collections and organizing special exhibits give practical training courses on ancient arts and crafts of India. For example, the Salar Jung Museum in Hyderabad conducts courses on bronze casting, lapidary work, woodwork, bidri artwork and tribal embroidery. Archaeological Museum at Baroda organizes temporary exhibitions whenever a new excavation is done in order to educate the trainees, teachers and higher level students. Bidla Industrial and Technology Museum Kolkata and Visaswaraya Industrial and Technology Museum Bangalore conduct short term training courses for school teachers in science and technology. In Bal Bhavan, New Delhi, children are given instructions in arts, painting and dance. Another important objective of museum is entertainment. In modern period. Museums have a responsibility to entertain public in order to augment domestic and foreign tourism. The exoticism and the attractive arrangement of museum object fascinate visitors and also satisfy their aesthetic urge for knowing about their past in case of domestic tourists and about host culture in the case of foreign tourists. They teach in very proper manner all about native culture and also culture of other countries. We shall discuss the role of museum now in regard to tourism. At the level of organization, there are three functions of museums and all these functions affect directly or indirectly the industry which we call today tourism industry. Administration of museum includes personal management, financial management, general services, fundraising and public relation. Curatorial work at museum involves collection registration, collection care, conservation and research. Operations in museum is related to exhibitions, public education, technical service and security. The major decision making of museum consists 
different kinds of person. So, in regard to tourism development, overall management, marketing and promotion of museums historical archaeological value is very significant. We will discuss the administrative setup of museum as well. Generally, a museum has a director, it is the top most decision making person in museum who is responsible for policy making, planning, organizing, staffing and coordinating different activities. Below a director, there is a curator. Curator, curator is the academic decision maker in all museum affairs. It is primarily one person who is responsible for managing objects doing accessing of object, playing important role in their conservation, preservation, he is also responsible for research and publication. Museums as they intend to educate people have museum educators also. Museums educational and training programs are some of the responsibilities of museum educator, educators. These include organization of classes, tours, films, lectures and training programs. Museums have in general a registrar also. The museum registrar is responsible for preparation of and maintenance of legal documents, files, forms for antiquities, accession, cataloging, loans, all such major works are done by the registrar. Conservator is at another post. He is responsible for upkeep, proper upkeep and preservation of objects. We have exhibition designers also in museums who actually play important role in creating educational and scientific display. Collection managers play important role in supervision, in numbering, cataloging and maintaining storages in museums. How we acquire museum? This may be an interesting subject for any person who takes keen interest in museum affairs. So friends, we acquire object by doing field work. We collect objects or we acquire objects through field work and survey. We collect objects by conducting explorations and excavations at regional and local level. This includes collection of objects of historical significance from different geographical and cultural zones. Another mode of acquisition is gift or donation. Museums get collections through gifts or donations from private sources. These objects are works of art and artifacts of historical and ethnological value. India generally believes in collecting object from rich private collectors. In National Museum even, we have many objects which have been gifted to National Museum. Another way of collecting objects for museum is through purchase. It however is subject to the availability of finance. Most of the objects which are worth collecting for museums are purchased by museums from open market. Transfer is also a method for procurement of museum objects. The criteria for doing this can be done by different agency. For example, some of the objects acquired by British Museum from India during the colonial period were returned after independence. Some objects have been transferred from a state to national museums and vice versa depending upon the nature of object. Loan museums regularly use this channel to augment their collection. It however does not involve the transfer of title and the lender museums get. 
after acquisition the objects are associated on advice of curator to various galleries while the acquisition is an indiscriminate process accession is done on the basis of set standards accession involves the transfer of title of objects through defined procedures to the museums or the registration of objects held in trust for government agencies after accessing that is acceptance of ownership and responsibility the museum is obliged to securely manage objects of all categories within its exhibition area or a storage area the museums collect preserve and display antiquities found at various archaeological sites as well as from different sources the antiquities of india are covered under antiquities and art treasures act 1972 the following items come under the category of antiquities and art treasures for example sculpture painting other works of art and craftsmanship illustrative of science art craft and religion and objects of historical interest they all come under the category of museum objects and they are often termed antiquities if they are 100 years old now we will try to understand how tourism is linked to museums museums have potential to play very important role in tourism sector the touring children can perhaps be the largest clientele group because the museums offer both education and entertainment even for adults museum are a great source of information about history culture tradition of a locality or a country people can discover their past through museums museums put before us invaluable sources of history and authentic sources of history to the foreign visitors museums offer detailed information about the country that they are visiting museum is basically a cultural continuum a cultural era where a foreign tourist can have an opportunity to understand the past heritages and history of a nation promotion of tourism through museums however has to be made a concerted effort in indian context the museum management should bring out brochures handbooks listing their collections and they must give adequate information and prolific information in their written materials to make people acquainted with the collection and the historicity of the collection in addition to photographs of objects there must be written in brief research based ideas in museums promotional literature tourist agencies should give museum a proper and prominent place in their itineraries for their tourist emphasizing the educational and entertainment roles of museums the tourist guide should be knowledgeable about museum collection they should also possess some information about history and organization of museums themselves it is only through the joint effort of all concerned that a meaningful and frequent interaction can develop between tourist and museum we will try to know about some important museums for tourists we have already discussed that there are around 700 museums of different categories like archaeological museums anthropological museums and science museum which sprawl over different parts of our country indian museum kolkata is oldest museum of asia it was established in 1814 and later on it was transformed into a grand 
national collection in the last lecture we had developed national museum which was earlier been established at rashtrapati bhavan later on in 1960 it got a new building it has some remarkable collection that can attract tourists from any part of the world like sun image of konark vaman yaksha from pital khora dancing girl of mohanjodaro nataraja of chola period mughal and pahadi paintings and apart from that national museum has a grand collection of decorative art objects belonging to different state of this great country allahabad museum is also a museum of national importance it displays objects from middle ganga plain especially of kosambi an important archaeological site excavated by professor govardhan rai sharma the museum contains personal collection of jawaharlal nehru manuscripts and other objects of many literary figures like sumitra nandan pant suryakant tripathi nirala and also mahadevi verma a mukhlinga of gupta period is considered as the most valuable item preserved by this museum we have natural history collection also in allahabad museum Salar Singh Museum Hyderabad situated in Hyderabad itself is a museum that is very rich in collection of decorative art objects european paintings deccani paintings and sculptures from andhra pradesh and telangana form the most significant part of this museum patna museum bihar is also a very important museum of the country established in 1920 this museum is famous for mauryan and sunga art collection kurkihar bronzes and also nalanda bronze didar ganjakchi displayed in patna museum now shifted to bihar museum is known as queen of indian art Patna Museum is famous for massive collection of artifacts from ancient Magadh the area around modern day Patna Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj Vastu Sangrahalay is another important museum of India which is very important for tourists just not indian tourist also for foreigners it contains a vast collection of chalukyan and rashtrakuta art it has beautiful collection of miniature paintings and bronze objects we have another great museum in our country baroda museum and picture gallery it was established by maharaja sayaji rao gaikwad as a center for civilizational study it has collection of egyptian mesopotamian japanese art and apart from that it has a wonderful collection of oil color paintings of europe indira gandhi national museum of mankind is an anthropological museum and it has a rich collection of tribal and local communities it has established archaeological village coastal village tribal huts heritage trail and also open air shrines of folk deities The museum is known for live demonstration and craft education. Another museum situated near Chennai is known as Dakshin Chitra. It is a museum of South Indian architecture, especially vernacular structures of South India have been created here within the cultural continuum of peninsular india it represents the aesthetic culture of south indian people it has collected and displayed folk art objects as well this is a pertinent example of a modern museum in our country so friends this is night now time to sum up this discussion the modern museum is a product of the european renaissance although institution resembling it have existed since a long time before that it evolved through various phases and in contemporary period it is conceived as an institution for education and entertainment museums today play important role in education we are supposed to have concerted effort to create 
good museums in India and to promote tourism to make museums as an important element on the tourist map of our country. With these words, I conclude this lecture. Thank you. Thank you very much.